prevail and conditions are absolutely terrible there's a terrible wind blowing up here on the roof of the developing lawn street side of the ground short corner played swung in a one now Port Vale have scored through Paul Beasley and I make that 40 seconds on my clock what an absolute dream start the short corner McGlinchley to bogey the ball coming over into the area up goes Paul Beasley and Port Vale have just taken the lead straight away and what a start for Port Vale Louis Carey forced into the error the referee hurrying it. Matt Carragher and goes Ainsworth 2 now. Port Vale 2 Bristol City now. and Gareth Ainsworth 1 minute 43 seconds into the second half of this match and what an absolute gem of a header the referee urging Matt Carragher to take the throw in he threw it to Martin Foyle who just played it back to Carragher he sent it high into the area up went Ainsworth and bang 2-0 to Vale but there's a player down over it comes up go the heads Paul Beasley will get another chance at this Goodridge well trying to turn Martin Foyle Foyle only succeeding in laying it out to Murray and that's taken a deflection. That's 2-1. Murray played it in. And Bristol City have pulled one back. Paul Musselwhite had committed himself. And he was virtually sitting on his backside as that ball went over his head. And Port Vale, well, we've seen it all before. Bristol playing some nice possession football here. That's about 12 passes. Mickey Bell. And that's two each. Back in by and Port Vale just stood still. It's caught me by surprise because there was nothing threatening in the cross that was played in. The Vale players had just stopped still. And Akinbae just flicked it on with the back of his head. And Bristol City have find themselves, despite the terrible weather, back on level pegging. Well, poor Vale. Gareth Ainsworth, still Ainsworth. Ainsworth makes it three. And a brilliant solo goal by Gareth Ainsworth. Bristol City had the ball taken off their feet there. And Gareth Ainsworth, I've said it about three or four times in this match, John Ward has afforded him two markers. And in the second half, he seemed to have had three. Well, he just shrugged him aside and put that ball in the back of the net. Port Vale three. Bristol City 2.